Elena, we're now back from the latest international break. Of course, it would have provided a, another opportunity for some time off and also training on the on the pitch. But is it good to be back in action this weekend? Yeah, there's there's nothing better than playing games because uh, the trainings that we do always leads up to the games that we're gonna play. So just really nice to get back to playing games again. Yeah, before the international break. The girls obviously picked up a fantastic result and put in a great performance against Glasgow City, which is always important going into a break like that, particularly. It just shows that I th there's been some people saying that we've lost momentum because of the breaks that we had, but it just shows that what we put in in training and our, like what our focus is every week is just that we want to keep going, keep getting better, keep pushing and that's something that we look forward to do now on Sunday and getting going back to Peters Hill as well so we were there so like how one one week ago so it's gonna bounce back to to do a good performance there again. Yeah first up is that trip to Peters Hill to face Partick Thistle they've shown that the threat they can offer this season and, and it'll be a really good test to come back to. Yeah like before I played against them first time, some like a month ago, I I heard about and was seeing that they were a good team and Brian have done a good job with uh, Partick Thistle. But last game I also thought that we were dominating and those numbers, the six one, I thought that we should have won eight zero. But it just shows that you know you can never think about what's happened. We need to look that there's a fresh game. It's their home pitch and we just need to focus on. The, the game as as it is and make the best out of it. Yeah, you mentioned it as another trip to Peter's Hill so quickly after the last one, but the squad can take confidence given that they did put in such a performance last time out there. Yeah, obviously that pitch is a hard pitch to play on. I don't think uh, any other team is going to say anything about it, but it just shows that, you know, we, I didn't think that we played the best football, many, many of the situation, but you can see in the situation that we've played really well, we can also also execute things very, very well. But it just shows that, you know, we as a team right now, we have so many strengths that the opponents need to be aware of and we can attack on different ways. Uh, we defend how we defend, but I think Celtic right now is a bit unpredictable of of how we do certain things and many threats to to be aware of. Yeah, this Sunday's game kick starts a beginning of a, a big seven days ahead, so the girls will be looking forward to getting back out there and trying to secure another three points. I think the the girls are just looking forward to to the games. Obviously, we're going to come into a a position or a situation where we're going to have three games in one week, so everybody's aware of it. But the games are the most fun and the best part of to experience, especially when when we're going to get our fans back and support us. And that's the best part of being a part of Celtic is playing the way we play, but also the the fans that comes to our games to support. Yeah, of course, the focus is always on one game at a time, but we've got a few home games on the, the horizon as well, one of which comes here at, at Celtic Park where we're, we're sat today. That's an opportunity that everyone will be relishing and looking forward to. Yeah, but obviously, like you're saying, I think for us as a team, it's so important that we focus for for the next game, and that's the only thing we can control. We can't control of what's coming after. So even if our our focus is Partick Thistle, we know what's coming up. And for me, like personally, and where we're going towards, like there's no secret that we want to write history. Uh, we want to make sure that we win the rest of the games that we have because that's our ambition and that's what we really, really want. And to make that happen, we want the fans to be behind us and support us. And for me personally, and I know that the girls feels the same, is we want to write history together with our fans. So that's why we need them for every game, not only particularly some games, but when we play at Celtic Park, we should show that we are Celtic with the best fans. Obviously, you've, you've spent a lot of time here at Celtic Park on a day-to-day -day basis, but it'll be a, a different excitement knowing the opportunity to, to see your squad on the, on the pitches just around the corner. I came in here 7.30 in the morning and I, I the sun was just coming up and I just felt like 
like like you're saying, even if we have a game on Sunday, I was just like imagine how it's gonna feel with the fans in this incredible stadium and just the girls enjoying that moment and playing beautiful and good f football and just you know working towards of getting those three points every game. But I can't wait. You've touched on it a few times that the fans play such an important role, particularly heading into this stage of the campaign. So how much would it mean to see them here cheering the girls on at Paradise? Like I said, we're we're working towards of writing history and I think everybody knows that, you know, Celtic hasn't won the league yet and that's something that we go in for training every day and I'm and I can sit here confident and say that, you know, the girls have been doing amazing and they also know uh, that that's what we're working towards and to be able to share that with our amazing fans there's nothing else that we want to do um, just as much as you know we deserve to win if we win all the games it's going to be something that we share with our fans because like without them we're nothing and that's something that it's going to mean everything for us so our fans is everything and that's something that I know everybody knows when it comes to Celtic. You've mentioned on occasions how this squad still has even more to give as well. Is playing on a stage like this at Celtic Park and in front of the fans something that can play a part in unlocking that do you think? Yeah since I've came I think I've been pushing on the togetherness and the team and the, the aspect of us doing things together and I think that you can see that in the performance but something that I also mentioned to the to the girls before every games is you know, you're a, you're a role model when you, when you step outside the pitch because we have so many fans that are young, that are both girls and boys. And I think it's important that they, you know, when they perform well and we, when we do what we want to do uh, as a team, we inspire other girls and boys to, you know, to do the same. So for us, we, we have a bigger part than we think. And I think that's something that we need to cherish and live by um, live by that because it's important that we lead by example and if the girl shows week in week out especially in the games because nobody sees the trainings really uh, that's the way of how we can act as role models.